So I'm already paying for this and I'm trying to avoid paying for this. So I'm going to use this with this and this and these. And I'm too lazy to do this. So I'm trying my best to get away from subscriptions. We've got Netflix, we've got Spotify. I don't want to get Disney. So to combat that, what I'm going to do, I'm going to set up a Plex server and I've been going to charity shops to buy DVDs. This one, Finding Nemo, 99p. Toy Story 2, 99p. I've got a whole stack of them here. Having two young kids, I wanted to be able to put these on whenever I want. So that's why I'm going to use Plex rather than getting a DVD player, plugging them in and out, all that sort of stuff, messing about with that. So I'll be using the infamous Raspberry Pi. The first thing we've got to do is put Raspberry Pi OS Lite on it. So hop into Imager and we'll just set this up quickly. And that is done, lovely. And now it's time to SSH in. So SSH, Joe Pi one at IP address. Yes. And of course we have to do the sudo apt update and sudo apt upgrade. Spell it right. Yes. Right, now that's done, I want to set a static IP address. And to do that, I'm going to run this. And then I'm going to up and down. And then I will close it out. SSH Joe Pi 2 1 at 192.168.0.90. Yes. There you go, so our IP address has now changed. And to install Plex, I'm going to be using Casa OS, which is a nice, pretty web-based GUI, which gets all of it, all the apps in one, most of the apps we want in one place. And to install Casa OS, we will go to their website and we will copy the install command, which they have here, copied, and we will paste that in. This will take a few minutes to install. So just, and now that's installed, we can access Casa by going to a Pi's IP address. We will need to create an account. So there you go. Now we're into Casa. So I'm not into the interest in this. Okay, and we want to install Plex on Casa. So quite simply, App Store, Plex, install. Now that we have Plex installed, we need to make sure it's referencing our storage, which in my case is a one terabyte NVMe drive. So we've got files, media. What this is saved on is our SD card, which is no good. My SD card, 64 gigabyte SD card, which is what the operating system on for Pi OS Lite. So we need to mount, format, partition, set it all up our storage device. You might have a, an NVMe, you might have a hard drive, you might have an SSD, whatever you have, we need to set it up. So I will do that by First thing we're going to do is log in as root. We'll just show you our disks. So this is our disk here, no partition, it's not mounted. So this is what we're going to work on first, the NVMe. So we will configure it. And we will create the partition and then we will format the partition. And now that we've got a partition made, we're going to make effectively what is like our top level folder. So we'll make a directory NVMe and then we need to give that full permission. So with this command, and then we're going to mount that to the directory. And now we'll be able to see that in data, media, we have NVMe. However, next time you reboot your Pi, this won't be there. It won't, won't mount itself automatically. So to do that, we need to get its UUID and go into F, FS tab and mess about there. So to do that, our command is BLKID. And if we go full screen, we'll have to see it better. And here you can see our UUID for our Pi. So we want to copy that. And using Nano, we will type in nano dash etc fs tab and then it helps if you put the space in the right place but it's nano space forward slash we want to go to the bottom of this and type in uh, that is our uuid which we just copied and at the end of it we're going to just put some information which is effectively telling it what format this is and that is ext4 we want to make sure there is a space there 
And there you go. And then we're going to press Control O, Enter, Control X to write that out. And now that our partition will mount every time we reboot the Pi, we want to create like a subdirectory in that in that partition. To do that, our command is, and then we're going to give that full permissions. And then what we'll do now is do a sudo reboot. And then we'll log into CASA. And here we can go, we see we've got our NVMe mounted here. So NVMe films, that's our subdirectory we've made. And that is where we're going to store our files. So we need to tell Plex where our files are. And to do that, we go to here, and we click on these three little dots, and we go settings. And you can type it in, but you can also click on this. So we can go back, and we go to media, as an NVMe, and as an NVMe films. And that is where we're going to store our films. Select. We're going to leave the container as forward slash movies. That is correct. Save. And there you go. So now we can go to this. Don't need to do any of this. Trying to call mine JCJ House. Capitals. Next. We're going to add our library. Films. Next. Browse media. Out of the movies. Add. Add library. Next. Done. So how about digitizing my DVD with this? Going on DVD drive. It's cost me, I think it was eight quid off eBay second hand. Load this up. Plug it in. So now that's plugged in, we're going to be using software called Make MKV. It's a free software for ripping DVDs, basically. Open that up. So you can see here, got the Jungle Book at the top. So we've got to scan it first. Click on that, it's going to scan it. So it's scanned that now. And now on here, we can see what the content of the disk so what we're going to want is this 24 chapter one. So and in there is going to be the audio file. So we're going to select the, we want the DD 5.1 English. Sometimes you'll see a DTS 5.1 English, but I always go for the top one, which is the DD 5.1 English. So now that we've selected the audio and we've selected the chapters, we just tell it where we want it to save it. And for me, it's in videos. Select this folder, and then we're going to make MKV. And I'll then rip that DVD. And that's done. There you go. You can see now that file is completed. So that took 17 minutes, 38 seconds. And now if we go to where that has been stored, videos, mute, we will see this here. There you go. Please with that. Can't show you too much, we've got done for copyright. But let's change that now. We need to upload that to Plex. So we will rename that. Rename the Jungle Book. So now that we've got that, let's upload it to CASA. Here we're going to do that. We've got to go to files and the MVME we set up earlier. We're going to here. This is our folder. So we add it into here. So it was the Jungle Book. That's just going to copy that over. And then we'll see that. We'll have to go into Plex, refresh our library, and we'll see the Jungle Book has appeared. And that's done. That's now uploaded to Plex. So we need to go to Plex itself now. And we're going to Home, Films. And then we, we've got the three that we had in there before. The one I've just added, we need to scan library files. And there you go. So this, it thinks it's uh, the new one. So we need to change that. So there you go, we've got, got, we've got that edited now in a way that's okay. We've got a new, um, we put a new poster on there, adjusted the date, that sort of stuff. So if we get downstairs now, we can go have a look, set it up on the TV, and I can show you that. So we'll just go to Plex on the apps. Go down to Films. There you go, there's the four films that we've ripped so far. Last one we just did was Jungle Book. Pleased with that. And just as an honorary mention, these DVDs, the files that I'm creating, they'll be staying in my four walls. I won't be distrib distributing them to anyone who wants them. They'll just be for my kids to watch to save me having to use a DVD player.